Hello students, this week you're going to be working on your informative writing essay and I wanted to review the prompt and the rubric just to kind of go over some of those writing strategies that I have been kind of giving you guys feedback on. I added a video a couple weeks ago kind of connected to summary writing and then using quotes within your writing. So this is going to be kind of a review of all of that. So your writing prompt is the rainy rainforest and the Yellowstone National Park, which are articles that you've read within the content. Both discuss the need for water in a growing environment. Use your research notes and the information from these articles to explain the importance of water in different environments. Use evidence from both texts along with the research you conducted to support your ideas. So what I'm looking for is probably a four paragraph essay um, at the minimum, right, where one paragraph discusses one of the important reasons for water in different environments from the rainy rainforest, and then the next body paragraph would be from this article, the Yellowstone National Park. And so you would choose one um, piece of information to highlight about the importance of water in those different environments, right? Um, and then you would pull in quotes from the text. Now remember, with those quote sandwiches, you're going to introduce the name and author of the article, and then you're going to introduce, um, then you're going to make sure that you introduce enough context for the quote that someone who's never read the articles could still understand what you're discussing. At the end, you're not going to leave it with just a really long quote. You're going to pick one shorter quote, and then you're going to explain how that quote from the article goes back to the importance of water in different environments. You want to use this phrase in your um, intro, in each of your body paragraphs, and in your conclusion to tie it all together, um, just to constantly go back to the fact that that is what the prompt is asking for. So when you look at your rubric, right, you are going to focus on pulling out key information using the research method introducing the topic and then you're going to do those two body paragraphs which like I said my suggestion would be one body paragraph focusing on this article another body paragraph focusing on this article um, using transition words and using an intro, sen intro sentence at the beginning of each body paragraph and then using that evidence with that um, you know, quote sandwich uh, is going to be really, really important. And so um, there should be facts from the research, hook, bridge, and controlling ideas, at least two body paragraphs, transition words, and and restated my controlling idea in the conclusion. So again, that's kind of where you recycle these words and reuse them over and over. So I want to give you a quick example from a sample research paper on acid rain. Now, this one doesn't have specific quotes, so remember that in your paper, I am going to be looking for you referencing back to the articles, and I am going to look for you introducing the name of the article, giving some context, adding a short quote, and then explaining the quote. But this paper does a good job of kind of doing um, the work of breaking up the paragraphs and also continuing to go back to the prompt on acid rain, killer rain. Okay, so this kind of um, points out the different things that the research paper does well. Every time you turn on the television or take a ride in a car, you could be contributing to a problem called acid rain. In this essay, you'll learn how acid rain is created, the effects of acid rain, and more importantly, what we can all do to prevent it. What I want you to note is that this thesis gives the name of three of the body paragraphs. How acid rain is created, the effects of acid rain, what we can do to prevent it. Right there in that thesis sentence, you know what the three body paragraphs are going to be. So that's what I want to see in your intro, that you're going to state the importance of um, what's outlined in the Rainy Rainforest and the Yellowstone National Por Forest in your thesis, and then we know the first body paragraph is going to be here, the second body paragraph is going to be here. Okay, so that's what a good thesis does. It breaks down what each paragraph is going to focus on. So um, how is acid rain created? Acid rain forms when the gases that are given off by burning fuels such as coal and gasoline mix with rain. Many power plants plants burn fuels in order to create the electricity that we use in our homes and offices every day. Cars and trucks also send these gases into the air when they burn gasoline. When rain mixes with these gases, harmful, harmful substances called acids 
called acids form. This is acid rain. What are the effects of acid rain? So now we're going back to the second part of the thesis. Acid rain damages everything that it touches. It poisons our rivers, ponds, lakes, streams, and oceans, along with all of the life in them. It pollutes our soils and crops, weakens trees, and can even kill fish and plants. Acid rain also eats away at buildings and statues. Now what I would say is that if this was a research paragraph that includes quotes, it might be something like, according to Time for Kids, I read, you know, in the article, da, 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 that acid rain damages everything that it touches. For instance, the article states, and then you would add a quote. As you can see, this quote demonstrates that acid rain is very damaging. So that's kind of where you would pull in quotes, okay? How can we prevent acid rain? We need to cut down on the pollution that gets into our air. Turn off lights, televisions, and other electrical appliances if you are not using them. Walk or take a bike whenever possible. If you are traveling a long distance, take a bus or train to save fuel. As research shows, acid rain can harm our environment, but people everywhere can take small steps now to help protect our environment for future generations. So this is a model, right? There are some you know, things that um, you can take away from understanding how they use that thesis and how they um, to, to break down each of the body paragraphs and how they add information within their paragraphs that support that topic only. So you don't want to go all over the place in every body paragraph. Each body paragraph should have one specific focus. And for you, the guiding focus is going to be the information presented in <clears throat> the articles. Okay, so I just wanted to do a quick review of that before you started working on that. And I wanted to do a quick review of how to introduce quotes. Um, so please reach out if you have any questions and join the lab hours. Um, again, this is a great... Um, video on making a quote sandwich so if you need a refresher on that before you start adding information from those articles please watch that as well best of luck and have a great week